Google Search Console, Review Snippets, Multiple Reviews Without Aggregate Rating Object. What does that mean? And how you meant to fix it? So instead of trying to create long um, session videos, I've decided to create a blog post and short video sessions that covers most structured data issues shown in Google Search Console. So in this video session, I'll make it simple by explaining to you multiple reviews without aggregate rating object means that review snippet guidelines, certain properties are required. And if that is missing, for multiple reviews, we need to aggregate the rating. So then you can see here, review rating, review value. And at this moment, you may be thinking, well, okay, I've already placed the review rating, but I'm still seeing this problem in Search Console. Basically, what this is saying is whatever you're reviewing, whether it's a course, whether it's a product, it's missing this here, which is an aggregate rating. The best way to learn more about it is, is search schema markup, help section, to see how you meant to add that. If Google Search Central doesn't give you um, more insights or examples, as we can see, it does show us some insights, and yet it doesn't really explain what this is because these are required properties for multiple reviews. Basically, if you have more than one review, it's a multiple review. And thus, they must be aggregated. As I've said, it's smart to check out schema.org because here you have more examples and different ones. All you need to do is identify how your website is generating that review snippet and if it has multiple then you need to add the information accordingly before i close up do keep in mind that google has um, strict guidelines for structured data that means if you've got you know let's say 20 reviews for your product then it has to be 20 reviews mentioned on your website. And Google can work all that out as well. I thank you for learning with Rankia. If your website is having structured data problems, then definitely check out Rankia website or perhaps even use the commenting system to ask your question. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.